okay so this is a question so suppose uh, we have a given uh, question with a double integrator so consider the state equation so this is by the way the video uh, the uh, analytical part of the sliding uh, mode control so you have to follow me uh, in a serious way so the very first thing uh, we have to do in here is uh, suppose for this a given double integrator uh, system x1 dot and x12 i mean x2 dot is the state equation we have a controller uh, we have a as well as we have a, a b equation is here so from this particular system we need to have a, 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 a double integrator system then the required point is in order to design the uh, sliding manifold so we have to design the sliding mode uh, controller or unit u suppose you have a given u here is u is not uh, greater than uh, or equivalent uh, one not less than than less than or equivalent to one which means that we have uh, u is negative one negative one makes the absolute value one so one is equivalent with one so uh, we have to take uh, less than uh, a negative uh, one so that is the very first thing we have to consider because which is our given parameter so before we uh, start the solving uh, the equation we need to have considered the first parameter is here so uh, designing step one so in step one so in step one in step one, uh, we have to make uh, uh, one thing. So the first thing, uh, as you can see from here, so the state equation is in a form. So just it is a preliminary uh, point. So we have x1 and x1 and x2 here. So for this x1 and x2, we need to have ax plus bu, so which is written in the form of a, 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 x dot is equivalent to ax plus bu this is a state equation so from this we have to make uh, our system a matrix is in a 0 and 1 our uh, 0 1 0 0 which is our a matrix we have x1 and we have x2 plus we have b matrix here 0 and 1 which is a uh, times u and which is our x dot in general so this is our x dot or x1 dot and x2 dot here so for this x1 dot and x2 dot we got this equation so we have to write the equation we have to write the equation for this particular system we need to have uh, from this we have x1 is x1 dot x1 dot is equivalent to so 0 uh, times uh, x1, we have a 0, plus 1 times x2, I have x2, x2, x1 dot is equivalent to x2, and x2 is 0 times x1 plus 0, which is 0, plus I have b here, 0 times u, which is uh, 0, plus 1 times u, I have 1, so here I have u here. So... <clears throat> the form of equation uh, is uh, for uh, this x u so my x x1 is x x1 dot is this one so this is goes to zero and x2 dot is equivalent to u here because x2 here is this this part so we have to make this zero so here this is one because x1 is equivalent to uh, ax plus bu so for first case i have zero u here zero u that's why plus zero u and for the second case x2 uh, uh, x2 dot is equivalent to ax so <clears throat> my a matrix are zero and again b is u that's why this is uh, my new uh, state so my new state equations here my new state equations so starting from here I have to make uh, the design procedure so let's start the design steps here so the first thing i have to make in here is uh, just uh, uh, 
the find knowing the given point interval so here my u is a less than or equivalent to one which means that when i take u u let's say uh, uh, u u is negative uh, negative 0 0.5 uh, and uh, what negative one and uh, which is uh, one zero point five so my u is in between here that's why because let's take zero point five negative zero point five which is less than or equal to one so let's take the absolute value of this uh, negative 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 is absolutely less than uh, 1 so which is right for first condition again for the second condition the second condition I have to take negative 1 negative 1 is less than or equal to 1 so the absolute value of 1 is 1 so 1 is less than or equivalent to 1 which means that 1 is equivalent to 1 the same is true for uh, 0 0.5 absolute value of uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 absolute value is uh, a little bit less than or equivalent to uh, 1 so here 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 which is uh, less than or equivalent to 1 which is almost literally less than so we are these are our preconditions here this is uh, 0.3 this is 0.1 and this is 0.2 so we have uh, uh, this point so our u is in between this so our u is 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 1 and uh, 0 0.5 are our uh, point is here so don't forget this uh, uh, conditions and we have to put u here so u is equivalent to negative 0 0.5 uh, negative 1 and 0 0.5 and 1 is also so this makes 1 so these are our u so the next thing is our uh, noun about the desired point so in step 1 in step 1 I have to know about my uh, new x uh, function so x bar is equivalent to uh, x minus x desire so which is a very important uh, uh, point for my design so x this xd is uh, uh, my desired my desired so in this particular case uh, the step one is in order to find the sliding surface so this is in order to know about the sliding surface so first find out the what a sliding surface sliding surface so this is a, a step one uh, a sliding surface so s is a given a generalized equation x is equivalent to derivative uh, uh, function d by dt plus lambda d x bar x bar this is the x new value here this this point so i have to insert uh, this value in here so d by dt of x bar plus lambda what x bar which is equivalent to what hence i have a factor here n minus uh, uh, one since our equation is second order so i have to make n my n is equivalent to two so two minus one is one that's why uh, i don't mention it uh, power of one in here because the generalized equation is uh, 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 so-called s is equals to d by dt plus lambda lambda x bar 
n minus 1. This is the uh, state factor. So this n is the state factor. Suppose here we have a second order system. So second order system means in another sense we have uh, this is our state 1 and this is our state 2. So we have n n is equivalent to 2. So 2 minus 2 minus 1 is 1. That's why I put here 1. So this is uh, uh, my so-called the state equation. So S is equivalent to this one. So this is my uh, equation 1. So make it equation 1. For the design initialization, this is state 1. I mean step 1. So next, nextly, uh, I, I have to go there, the uh, step 2 condition. So find the input that makes the system S1 is equivalent to 0. So the very first point is uh, uh, finding S, S here. This S is when uh, we seen in the, the introductory class. So I put that I have here. Here, uh, the point or the trajectory of this state equation is starting from here. And we have to slide in this sliding surface or this sliding manifold. So let's say the, the point is starting from somewhere here. So support that from here and which is came to this sliding point. And this sliding point is the operating point. So again, uh, from the negative half region, which goes to this point. So this going to this point. So this is at the infinity point here, which goes to infinity. So in order to make this a uh, further going restriction, I have to switch off and on in this sliding manifold here. Sliding manifold here is uh, the switching point, and which is tends to the origin here, starting from here and which is goes to origin here. So this is uh, my operating point. So S is must be equivalent to zero. So what makes the state equation here, x1 and x2, S is equal to zero, which means, which states our point, our input U in this uh, equilibrium point, in this equilibrium point. So in step two, we have to find out this logic. So, so in here, find out the input that makes, uh, I have to find out input, input U, step two step two here this is step two so i have to find out the input that makes the s the s uh, that makes the sliding surface s is equal to zero for that matter uh, from the equation one so i have to take the equation from here i got a s in here so s is equivalent to zero so s is equivalent to zero so my s is again uh, equivalent to uh, what i call it x dot x bar dot plus lambda x bar which is equivalent to zero because because d by dt of x bar is equivalent to x bar dot which is the time derivative this is the time derivative so from here uh, i have to take again uh, the second this is s this is s by the way this is s taking the derivative of s this is uh, like this and i have to put the the the, 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 the second derivative of uh, this point so the second thing in here is just taking the second derivative. When I take the second derivative, this is a double dot plus lambda x bar dot is equivalent to zero after taking the second derivative. Suppose x uh, bar from this equation, x, is x bar or the uh, x bar second derivative is equivalent to so called x2 derivative and x2 derivative is equivalent to u. Again, I have x2 
this is a, a, a so-called uh, x1 derivative x1 derivative is x2 so i have to insert here so this is the very important point you have to use here so this is uh, uh, the point i connect my state equation with the new design point here so these are here i don't have x bar in my state equation so i have x2 and x uh, bar 2 so i have x2 here i have x2 here x2 dot is u here x2 dot is u and x bar to x bar 2 dot is uh, x1 this is equivalent to x2 so i have to insert uh, the point so x bar 2 is a so called x uh, uh, dot 2 so x dot 2 is uh, equivalent to um, x2 derivative is u so u look this is u plus i have lambda lambda x bar means x uh, x uh, uh, 2 here because x bar is x 2 here so which is equivalent to zero from here i have to find out uh, u subjectively because i need to find out the control input u that makes s is equivalent to zero so in my design i have to take uh, this uh, controller u this u makes the system zero from the initial point so in this is a step two so in a step three uh by the way this controller input u u is uh, just taking u subjectively u is equivalent to negative lambda x2 this my u is a new u which makes uh, 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 the trajectory slide over the sliding surface s is equal to zero so this u this u makes the trajectory when it comes from some point from here and which goes to the sliding surface here and after reaching this particular point so it goes uh, to the origin which because this is my operating point and my trajectory came once to this sliding surface so this u this is the negative lambda x2 tends the sliding surface or the trajectory to this region for s greater than zero and for s uh, less than zero for s less than zero which makes which takes back to this uh, equilibrium point and for x greater than zero one is it reaching to here and makes the system to the equilibrium point this is the uh, operating point so called a sliding manifold or a sliding surface so this is the controller input u that makes the uh, system to the origin here so this is the way how we uh, design the controller input u for the uh, system in order to operate in a given sliding surface during a sliding mode controller design